and the warmest welcome to each of you for joining us here today for our conference on the way forward in advancing mental health equity. So after decades of so much work, what progress have we really made? What have we learned? What has worked? So what is our collective roadmap to address disparities in mental health status and mental health care? Can we together find a way forward by building consensus and creating the will, the political will, the community will, to make a real difference, to ensure that we have equity in mental health in our communities throughout our nation? This is a partnership. One of the interesting things that I see from having now been at UCLA for almost 20 years is that uh, we begin to repeat ourselves. You know, 15, 18 years ago, the uh, institute developed with Los Angeles County something called the Academic Partnership. Um, I can see heads nodding. This was, this was really a very simple idea, and that is that uh, we have a great university in the state of California with many facets in different parts of the state, rural, urban, and so on. But we don't actually utilize, as Cynthia was saying, the extraordinary reserve that there is in that uh, enterprise. So why is it, one must ask, that we don't use the university to help create social policy, and why don't we continue to think about the way in which we deliver our services such that we can improve them with evidence-based practice, et cetera, et cetera. The COE, the Centers of Excellence, which started through an initiative with Daryl Steinberg, who came to Davis and to UCLA and said, why don't you help us? Why don't you think through the way in which the university can be in partnership with the state and its many counties and its many programs, especially for those who are deprived and who suffer disparity in terms of what's delivered from what could be delivered. And that was the inception after a year or two of planning with Darrell, in which Cynthia was actually instrumental. And um, the result was a program which began in October 2014 uh, with Davis and with UCLA, taking the initial steps to look at the way in which we could improve things collaboratively. Davis focused upon the early childhood development and ways in which we could improve the care of young uh, individuals who were developing psychoses and many other programs which they developed in Sacramento and Davis. We, on the other hand, were asked to look more carefully at disparities within the city and we have tried to do that, as you will see in some of the presentations today. It's been an extraordinary journey. One of the things that I think we've learned is that the only way you can move these things forward is through partnerships within the community itself, what is essentially collaborative research, which was something that uh, has been championed here. But essentially, what I would like you to remember from this day, in addition to the details that you will learn about how we can do these things, is that this is the future. It's only by harnessing the university and its uh, uh, particular vision of the world, which we hope is looking forward, with the understanding, the true natural understanding, of the way in which things function day by day in the, uh, in the communities and the cities of our state. It's only when we put those things together that we can actually move forward with some sort of clarity it's easier to look back than it is to look forward because we can, we can harness what we think was the perfect world 50 years ago, but it isn't going to be today a perfect world, even if it were 50 years ago. So we must look forward. This is a day of looking forward, and I appreciate all of you coming.